Number eight. Why is not bigger? Number eight. All right. In order to do number eight, Smith, we got to figure out what the hypotenuse of that triangle is. How does one go about that? Smith. How do I figure out? In order to do perimeter, I have to add, add, add. Well, how do I figure out what that is? Uh, I did not use my chart. Well, so how do you, well, then how did you get it right? How, how do you I think you, so, but why then are you questioning my, the answer? I just the chart. Uh, anytime, people, you see a right triangle and you're missing one of the measurements, this is the first thing that should come to your mind. A 5, 12, a 5, 12, 13 triangle. 13 plus 12 plus 5. 13, 12, 5. 13. Well, how, where did you get the number that you used? Well, I did um, 5 would be half of the long one. So 5 is not half of the long one. 6 would be half of the long one, but that has nothing to do with the third side. Yes. 25, 12, 13, 10. Yes. 40, 40, 40. Oh, gosh, it's right there. Yes. Nice. Yeah, we got everything at 5. 5, 12, 13. Do I have any? Anything else? I don't know. I'm guessing it's not. And it's not the old set that you used again. No, I don't think it's not. Oh, I think it comes in the same set. This is that other new one Well, that I can buy out the U or can you buy it from the other cheap Because the one will mean choose black and white because the other one will just Okay. Well, you have magenta too? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Why we couldn't just stay with the same cartridges all the time? I don't know. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, I don't know. Such as it goes. Sammy? I don't know what you mean. Number 20, children. Two zero. The big two O. The big. Um, there's a couple different ways to do these, Sammy. So really it boils down to this. Okay. If you multiply x to the third times x to the fourth, what do you get? No, no, no. No, 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 no. What? X to the third times x to the fourth. We have the little rule there of exponents. When you multiply bases with exponents together, you add their exponents. So you get x to the seventh over x to the fifth. And then, if you have seven x's on top and five x's on the bottom, if I have x times x times x times x times x times x, x times x, and I have five on the bottom, what's going to happen? They're going to cross off one for one until you're left with just two x's on top, which is x squared. Oops. Is that on this page or is that on the other page? It's on the other page. Is it on the other page or this page? It's on this page. This page or the other page? Other page. No, this is on this page. What's your question? Um, I don't get how to find the area. Alright, step number one. Tell me that you did it on a piece of, of graph paper where you can see the lines and you use the ruler and draw straight lines. Can you do that? Huh? I, I right. drew Well, next time you do, it's because the, the neater you are, the straighter you are, the easier this is going to be. I won't because I'm just that good. But here's what it'll look like. So you did negative one, negative one, right? You did three, negative one. Right? And you did two, two. 
So your triangle looks like this. Correct? All right, loops. Okay, then the next thing is you say, oh, what is my formula for the area of the triangle? Let me write it down. Can you write down the area of the triangle? Right now? What is the area of the triangle? No, one half times base One half base times height. And you know what is up with the base and the height? They have to be what? In order for something to be the base and the height, what has to be one simple characteristic of the base and the height? Are they there? It has to be a Maybe I used that one, did I? I don't have the little one? Yeah, I mean, that I don't know. Cyan or whatever. I'm sorry to interrupt. Can it still work? Take your time. 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 It's not that big of a deal, I'll just take it. I'm about to run up to it. So yeah, I'll send you the answer. Wait, why do you guys have your hands here? Oh, what do we know about the base and the height? It has to be your right angle. Okay, and do you see any right angles there? No. So you've got to figure out where you can draw a line that is going to be a right angle. Let me give you a clue. The line is going to come from this top point. If you just take and go straight down from that top point, that top point is already on a one of those lines that's already part of your grid. It is a right angle. <coughs> now you just need to count the spaces as to how long this is. How long is it? One, two, three, four. How high is it from here to here? One, two, three. And this is going to give you the area of that triangle. 12 cut in half is 6. And it's always going to, you're always going to be able to get the height from that. You just come straight down with it, it's going to be, and you just count the spaces. Chica? Um, I don't really understand how to number 6. Then on that page or this page? Uh, it's 6. So then on this page or the yeah, other page? It's, yeah, it's right. Yeah. Now, the thing you must understand about 6 is, are you are they asking you to find the area of that or are they asking you to find the perimeter? How do you know that? Because a tile is the same as what? One square. A square. Yeah, tiles and squares are the same thing. So you need to find the area, but they don't ask you for the area, they ask you for the cost. Correct? And what do you have to do then? If it costs $12 per square foot, once you find the area, You've got to multiply it by twelve dollars each. Uh, now, here is where. How did you split this shape up? I'm guessing you did that. Uh, yeah. Across or down? Across. And you did this. Yeah. So we've got this rectangle here. That is. What's the area of that? Four times eight. Here is where most people. If you made a mistake on this, this is probably where you went wrong. Okay. This little guy right here. You need to multiply it. It's length times its width. Well, we know that's 4, but I can tell you this is not 6, so you can't use the number 6 there. How far is it? How, what, how long is that little piece? 2. 2. And what is 4 times 2? 8. And what is 32 plus 8? Um, 40. And that's the area that you now need to multiply by 12 to find how much. 12 times 40 is 480 dollars. Or did you go wrong? Sorry. Um, I think I went wrong with the little square. I put one. Young Peter. Um, I don't care how I got number 18 on. Is that that page or this page? Um, this one or the yeah. other? This one? Yeah. So you did, tell me what you did first. I didn't add 
added one point two plus one three six. And got one point five six. And that's all over zero point zero six. Oh, never mind. Anyways, from here, what would you do? It's a division problem. This one goes on the outside, 0.06 into 1.56. Move the decimal two places, move the decimal two places. 6 goes into 156, 26. Alex. Uh, back on number 6, I split Number 6. I split it differently. Yeah. You split it like this? Yeah. So, what did you get for the area of this? Um, twelve. How why, How would that be? Because it's four times oh, six. Oh, that's uh, twenty-four. Right. This one. Now, how how do you end up? I understand this is four. How do you get that this is three though? Because it's what number plus 4 gives you 8. The whole thing is 8. This has to be 4. So 4 plus 4 is 16. And if you had 24 and 16, you're going to get this 4 that you started out with. Samantha! Is that on this page or the other page? Which one? Well, what's your first thought? Board of operations in five and zero power is one. <laughs> anything to the zero power is one. Always. No matter what the number is, anything to the zero power is one. Suppose that's where you went along? Maybe. Next step you'd have to do is multiplication. So it's going to be one plus four minus six plus one. And then from left to right, addition, subtraction. Five minus six which is negative 1 plus 1, I'm guessing ends up being 0. Did I do that wrong? Did I do something wrong? The point is not getting it wrong now, it's getting it wrong now. Did I do it right? Yeah. Grace! I don't understand how I got number 5. This page or that page? Uh, this one or that one? This one. You said five? What is the total price of 3.1 pounds of apples at 80 cents per pound? What did you do? Three. Huh? You said three. Yeah, that's good. What did you do with my answer? Uh, I did 80 cents I mean, it's, it's simply, it's a multiplication, 3.2 times 80 cents. You just have to know your answer is going to be in the sense that you'll have to change the dollars here. 3 times 2 is 16. 2,000, well, 256 cents. But we'll change that into dollars and make it $2.50. 56 cents. You could have made this 80 cents right away by putting the decimal there. 3.2 times 0.8, and then it would have been in dollars. It's always good to go in this trying to guess what the price would be. If it was 80 cents for three pounds, you know, you're going to get a little over two dollars or something. Christine? That's the other page? Did you do the multiplication first? Yes. And what did you get when you multiply one third times one fourth? Um, when you multiply one third times one fourth, you've got five over twenty-four. Um, I don't know what I did. Well, uh, that would probably be why you got it wrong. Multiply them together, you get one twelve and one half plus one twelve. Common denominator of twelve. Six twelve plus one twelve is. Um, I uh, try to understand the uh, number two. What did you get for an answer? What is the answer?
What did you do? To, what did you define your answer? Um, I just like, um, 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 I think well, I'm divided. Okay, there's your first mistake, children. Please listen. Anytime you're looking for tax or tip, it's a multiplication problem. You want to know what 20% of $24 is. 20% of 24, that's the multiplication. So it's going to be 24 times, what's 20% as a decimal? 0.2. You multiply, you get 48, but the decimal here is actually $4.80. Tax and tip are always multiplication problems, not division problems. Very all. Yeah, this page or that page? Which one? Forty percent as a decimal. What does percent mean, ma'am? Forty over one hundred. How do you say this? Forty hundredths, or just reduce it. What if I divide them both by ten? What do I get? How do you write four tenths? Four tenths. And then this reduces down one more time to two fifths. You can always divide the bottom into the top if you like. You could take five, divide it into two, you're still going to get point four. Five goes into twenty. Jacob? Um, you know, I don't understand how I get them in the one room. You got what? I got 60 degrees. How many? 60. Three. The minute hand of the clock turns 60 degrees per minute in 10 minutes, the hand will turn what fraction of 360? So yeah, 60 degrees is how far it went, but it's at what fraction of 360? which reduces down to one sixth. Is that right? Samantha. And for a test, are we allowed to use the four? Yeah, you'll be able to use your little reference sheet there. Oops. I don't get how I got from this. What'd you get? Because I read it During the morning, commute 96 cars and 24 trucks pass through the intersection. What is the ratio of cars to cars to trucks? How many cars were there? 96. How many trucks? 27. And then what number goes into those to reduce it? All right. How many times does four go into that? Times four going to twenty-four. What number goes above the lows? Twenty-four divided by six is six divided by six is Christian, anything? 